Welcome to this new content. Are you ready to explore the fascinating world of biblical prophecies and uncover the mysteries of the cosmos? We are about to embark on an extraordinary journey into the celestial realm, so get ready. Something extraordinary is about to happen in the sky above us on April 8, 2024, a unique solar eclipse. But what makes this eclipse so special and what secrets does it hold for our future? To discover the true meaning of this celestial event, join us as we delve into history and scriptures. Before we begin, make sure you are fully engaged with our content. Subscribe to our channel and help us spread our content by turning on notifications so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Throughout history and across all latitudes, humans have sought divine signs and extraordinary or unusual occurrences. In the Bible, particularly in Luke 21 verse 25, Jesus speaks of signs in the sun, moon, and stars as indications of significant events that will occur, especially in reference to the times of the end. Therefore, when something unusual happens in the sky, it is common to question its meaning for the future. These days, there is much talk about the imminent total solar eclipse expected on April 8, 2024. The fact that it is generating so much interest and even concern stems from the fact that it won't be just any eclipse, it will be a rare event, specifically a total eclipse. Some believe it has something to do with predictions for the 2024 presidential elections and international events. This idea stems from the belief that biblical prophecy is full of celestial events. There are instances where celestial events in the Bible coincide with significant historical and prophetic events, leading some to interpret them as signs from God. The concept that these events may indicate the end times is not new. Throughout the Bible, people have sought signs and prophecies to understand when the end of the world might come. With their grandeur and unpredictability, celestial events often capture the imagination and fuel speculation about their meaning. Examining history and biblical teachings provides patterns showing how the actions of nations can have desired outcomes. For example, in Revelation 6, it is said that nations will face judgment, often manifesting through war, famine, and disease. These catastrophes are a punishment for the transgressions of these nations. It's interesting to note that these biblical themes are mirrored in modern-day situations. We have witnessed increased protests, economic upheavals, and pandemics worldwide in recent years. These occurrences coincide with the afflictions described in Revelation, suggesting that divine intervention continues cyclically in response to human disobedience and the misalignment of human actions with divine will. Pause for a moment to grasp the catastrophic drift of recent years. We are witnessing worsening conditions all over the globe. Are we truly approaching the end of the world? Is what was predicted in Revelation truly about to happen? It's hard to resist the compelling words of this important part of the Bible. Lately, signs seem to be multiplying to suggest that significant events for humanity are about to occur very soon. The symbolism of the sun and moon is important in this context, according to biblical prophecy. Often, the sun represents the nations of the Gentiles, and the moon represents Israel. This symbolism is rooted in the book of Genesis, where it is said that the sun and moon were created to mark time and specific events. In Genesis, God ordained that the sun and moon would rule the day and night. These celestial bodies were meant to signify times, festivals, and sacred seasons as well as provide light. Their symbolic significance stems from this divine purpose, especially when considering biblical promises about the end times. Many of the prophecies in the Bible use celestial imagery to convey messages about the future. For example, Joel speaks of wonders in the heavens, like the darkening of the sun and the turning of the moon to blood, heralding the coming day of the Lord. Similarly, the darkening of the sun and moon are depicted in Revelation as signs of significant eschatological events. Over the past few years, numerous celestial events have captured public attention and prompted reflection. An example of this was the lunar tetrad of blood moans that occurred from 2014 to 2015. During this period, there were four total lunar eclipses, known as blood moans, which coincided with Jewish holidays. This alignment of celestial events, termed the blood moon tetrads, sparked speculation and discussion, especially because they occurred concurrently with important moments in the Israeli calendar. Additionally, 
the Great American Solar Eclipse of 2017 crossed the United States from coast to coast. As it was a unique and striking event, millions of people across the country were fascinated and somewhat awed by this total solar eclipse. For millennia, humanity has been fascinated by the extraordinary visual spectacle of the alignment of the sun, moon, and earth during a solar eclipse. Looking ahead, another X-shaped eclipse will be visible in the United States on April 8, 2024. This will occur seven months before the 2024 presidential elections. With the eclipse, the constellation of Leo rising in Jerusalem will align. So, what does all this mean? It's not always a warning, rather, it is a representation of past events and future possibilities. In biblical stories, the X shape of the eclipse is akin to a sign or seal. All of this is truly fascinating. As we too await, captivated by the eclipse of April 8th, let us continue to consider its significance and remain attentive to the signs of the times. What connections exist between biblical prophecies and celestial events? What role do the sun and moon play in these prophecies? Share your opinion in the comments below. We would love to hear what you think and share it with other listeners. Thank you for watching this video.